Good morning. It is May 27th, 2022, and that means today is the grand opening of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind at Epcot. And because I'm still a little bit bitter, I didn't get to go to opening day of Avengers Campus in California because they were only letting in-state guests at that time, I decided to fly out to Florida to come to opening day of this. Now the stressful part is the only way to get on the attraction is through a virtual boarding group or purchasing an individual lightning lane. Thankfully this morning, I was able to purchase an individual lightning lane and I'll have a chance to get in the boarding group later this afternoon. So in this video, we're going to opening day of the attraction. We'll get to go on the attraction and we'll also talk about how you can get access to the attraction when you come and visit, whether it's through the virtual boarding group or purchasing the individual lightning lane. So let's go do this. All right, let me catch you up. So I got over here to Epcot and I've gone on a bunch of attractions. So far I went on like Frozen, the Grand Fiesta Tour, got a picture with Donald, went over to Living with the Land, and also Soren. so I did all those. I also went over to the front of Guardians of the Galaxy, got a picture in front of the ship. That was the longest line I've had to wait in. The line was probably 20 minutes to get a picture in front of the ship. Um, when I was doing that, I could see a bunch of the Imagineers were also getting pictures in front of the ship. They kind of did a big group picture and they were talking to some guests, so that was cool to see. And then I'm going to put in a clip here of how ginormous the line is to get the special opening day merchandise that is at um, the creation shop. So that was crazy. Now I'm getting a red berry crepe from over by Remy's. So yeah, I'm going to give it another shot in about an hour to hopefully get the boarding group. But if not, we're still good because I got the lightning lane. So, so far that's how opening day is going. I'm back in Morocco right now and I'm getting ready to hop on the app to try and get the 1 p.m. boarding group. So we'll see how that goes. I'm all charged up, or I'm getting charged up, and we're ready to go. So you can see, so everyone around the park, like, everyone's walking around with their phones on, they're plugged in, you're hearing people say, I don't want to be over here, there's too many people here, I don't want to be over here, there's too many people. Anyway, everyone's trying to get the best signal. I got it. Got it. And you can hear people scream. <laughs> that was wild. Heart stopped. So you saw me there counting. Once it hit 30 seconds, I counted all the way up. Just kept hitting refresh. Done and done. All right, I'm about to go in the traction right now. I won't give any big spoilers, but I will show some of the things from just as you're walking through, just some high level things, kind of like you would see in a commercial. And as we walk in, I'll take you through the boarding group process. Currently, each day at 7 a.m. and 1 p.m., you have a chance to join the boarding group if you have a reservation for Epcot. The 7 a.m. chance can be done from anywhere, but to qualify for 1 p.m., you need to have entered Epcot before that time. On the app, from the menu page, you will select virtual queues. Then, about 20 to 30 minutes before the boarding group opens, it allows you to confirm your party. So you just want to make sure that your whole group is listed. Then you need to refresh that page when the clock hits 7 or 1. There is a refresh button at the bottom of the page. I recommend clicking on that button every few seconds leading up to the opening of the boarding group because I swear if I don't click it for a minute or two then I click it, that first refresh seems to take a split second longer and you will want every little tiny second on your side. If the boarding group hasn't filled up, a join button will appear. You then need to quickly hit that, and if you make it, you will get these little updates about how long until you can hop in the line. If you want to try and buy the individual lightning lane, go to the tip board, make sure you are on Epcot, and you will see it listed as an option under the attraction name. It goes on sale right at 7 to resort hotel guests, and if there are any left, other guests can try and purchase those when the park officially opens. If it seems like it's sold out right at 7, keep refreshing because they tend to drop more of those during the, about the first 30 minutes or so. Make sure your phone has a good signal, and if the Wi-Fi is slow, switch over to data.
just got off Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. It was a blast. That is so well done. The pre-show, I'm not going to give any big spoilers away here, but there's some pretty cool effects in the pre-show um, that I was surprised by. And then the coaster itself is so smooth. It's so fun. The music was a blast. And there's both practical um, set pieces and also the use of screens, but they're all very well done. And the way the car turns, the vehicles turn, yeah. 10 out of 10, wonderful, highly recommend it. So if you have a chance, definitely check it out. I get to go again later tonight. I'm not going to, in this video, put the full ride through. I recorded the whole ride in 360, so I will post a video of that. And so if you're watching it right when it comes out, this video, it might not be ready yet, but just check down in the description below um, and I will have that posted. So the full 360 of it, but the, the blast off at the star is excellent just the whole attraction so i'm very glad i came for it very very fun and i'm excited i get to go again tonight filming merchandise isn't my strength but here's just a taste of what they had to offer they were doing a good job keeping the line moving fast and also keeping things restocked and limiting people to only two of each of the items that were limited It was a little crowded in there, so once again, sorry for the choppy footage. So I'm here with Matt and Alex, and they're two of my Hello. favorite people. I'm fanboying right now. <laughs> so, so are we. So are we. <laughs> no. So I'm like creepy, and like their their engagement was one of my all-time favorites. Oh, their you. cruise is one of so many good ones. So yeah, <laughs> if you want tips from the Disney ducks, if you want honest food reviews, honest attractions, mm -hmm. anything else we should anything else you want to say to the people? No, I mean Eric's the man. So yeah. you're in the right place already. So yeah. you're getting yeah. all the good info. <laughs> all right, but they're awesome. So very fun to see them here today. So. It was so fun to see Matt and Alex. I've put the link to their YouTube channel and Instagram in the description below. All right, I'm back at the hotel now just to wrap up the night to give you an overview of what happened after that. I went to the Coral Reef for dinner, which was delicious. I had the mahi-mahi, the seared mahi-mahi, and it was so good, very good. And then I also had the chocolate wave um, for dessert, and that was a chocolate flowers cake with some raspberry sorbet, and that was very good too. And then, as I was eating my dessert, I got the notification it was time to head over to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind because they were doing my boarding group. So I headed over there. The wait through the whole area was probably 20, 25 minutes, but then the ride did break down for just a little bit, and it seemed like everyone was like, ah, like it was the end of the world. But in all truth, looking at my watch, it was like 15 minutes total. So after that, the line got moving again, and I think I liked it even more the second time than the first time, just because I wasn't kind of that apprehension of what's happening next, what's going on. I could just enjoy it all, and it is a blast. So definitely, I, the only thing that's tricky is you can't guarantee currently that you're going to go on it. So I'm not going to say everyone should book a flight or make a plan to come down to Walt Disney World, because there's a chance you might not get on it with the boarding groups right now. But if you're able to get on it, it's totally worth it. It's totally something you need to add to your trip because it's a blast. So I loved it. The other thing I was thinking is if they could add a ride of that level to Avengers Campus, and I think that's kind of not that this is the same ride system, but just kind of a similar e-ticket style, it would take Avengers Campus at Disneyland um, California Adventure to the next level because this ride is amazing. So um, the music's great, the character throughout the show, the characters throughout the show are great, and just the thrills and the experience on the coaster are amazing. So yeah, so glad I made the trip out for this. By the time I got out of the attraction, they were having Harmonious go off. So to me, it was like a celebration of the attraction, even though that's not what it was at all, but having the fireworks um, over the Star Blaster ship. I was like, that's, that's beautiful for this opening day celebration. But yeah, it was a blast. So very, very fun. Definitely you need to check out this attraction. Hopefully you found this video helpful, if you did. Please give a like and consider subscribing to the channel because my hope is always to make your next Disney adventure a little bit more magical with tips, tricks, and reviews. And like I said, I will put the full, um, not sure how much you'll be able to see on it, but the full 360 video of the attraction in the links below once I have that uploaded. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all again real soon. Bye.